You know what? I'm getting pretty good at taking this turbo off. Turbo me out of life. So, even though these pistons are gonna get disgusting again, I just can't stand looking at carbon buildup. Shout out Humble Mechanic. He's a really smart guy. You spray WD-40 and use Scotch-Brite pads. It takes a lot of elbow grease, but as you can see, the two and three pistons are pretty clean. And you can see down in the other bores, I haven't even touched those other ones yet. They're pretty nasty. Yeah, like they're just gonna get gross again, but it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy to have them nice and clean. Th this will be sufficient. Getting closer to getting the head back on the car. Got all the injectors put in. I'm running a radium fuel rail. I always liked it. I'm getting ready to put the lower intake manifold back on. Pulled it off the old head there. Got the deck cleaned all nicely. Ready for a new head gasket. I'm just gonna run an OEM head gasket this time. Ran a Kometic last time, but figure OEM will get the job done. Move the oil pressure uh, sensor right here. I did have it in the head previously. I wanna see what my block oil pressure is. So I got this adapter off eBay. Getting ready to throw this all back together and hopefully have it started by tonight. Well, here. So, uh, we had to swap cams. The other head that was on my car has a, uh, a BP-5A, which is a slight upgrade for the uh, BP-4Ws. So we're gonna pop that in here. We put some assembly lube on it. When you stick it in there, try to align the lobes so that none of them are really pushing down on the valve. Then uh, porting the turbine outlet. That's the wastegate side there, ported that out. And this is the turbine side. I wish I would have done it before. There's a lot of material. This was all like a big wall. That's the wastegate side. Smoothed it out a lot. Enlarged it down here as well. I don't have a bit that can get all the way down in there. And here we have the Flamini Auto Manifold in 2860. Yeah. And we're about to stick this back on there. Wow. And then uh, we're going to drop the head on the car. And uh, probably won't be done tonight, but Roundy I'll come back round. over tomorrow and finish it up. Kind of. I guess it's not made to just hold, you know? hard to lean over because you're like leaning up with all your weight over like this oh boy Ugh. hard you might have to help me <laughs> good very good. Popped right on there, didn't it? How does it feel to have a head? Extremely good. Probably uh, it'll be raining or something like that. Or cold or... I'm thinking it's gonna make more power without a head gasket that's leaking as bad as that one was. So we're torquing the head down. I do, I like to do three passes. Like they don't necessarily say to do it, but I do 30 foot pounds and then 60 and then I'm doing 90. These are the Super Miata high boost studs. And these you torque to a higher number. We're, we're just gonna go through and torque them down. I wanna use my phone just to make sure we're in the right order here. And this will be 90 foot pounds. The 
this is nine. Oh, didn't like that. Oh, that one's oh. not going. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes I do that, man. It freaks me the f out. All right, we're gonna go through and check them. Sometimes this, the stud like slips in the block a little bit, and that's that kind of weird feeling you get. It kind of makes you poop your pants, especially when you're torquing these things so high. I'm kind of worried. Now we're gonna put the crank pulley back on, all the belts, all that fun stuff. There we go. I need to eat soon, I'm hungry. Nothing gets the job done on a car like Taco Bell. Who's with me? All I've had today was a Totino's pizza. How do you feel about Totino's pizzas? Solid. They are? Yeah. It tastes nothing like a real pizza. No, but. And like, I don't even know what's in there. I'm a big fan of Totino's. I wish they would sponsor our channel. Totinos, totinos, Sponsored by Totino's, and then you can just sit there and just totinos, stuff a big totinos, old giant Totino's pizza in your mouth. My back hurts. Oh, I wish there was a yoga place right around here. That's what you should have said in your RX-7 video. Yeah, your back was sore and, and there, there was a yoga, yoga place, place right, right behind there. you. It was like the perfect opportunity for a joke and you really just... You, yeah, I screwed that one up. You screwed up bad. Dig into your back horribly. If I can just get the car... Still feel bad. <laughs> All right, everything's buttoned up on the motor, except for the turbo. Driver's side jacked up a little bit, and that lets this thing slide right in as a whole unit. Let's see if we can just drop this in there nice and easy. Boom, now it's in. I'm gonna throw on the intake. And then we're gonna start it up. Actually, first we're gonna drain the oil that's in there. Throw some trash oil in it and start it up. Let it run for 10 or 15 minutes till it gets up to operate, operating temperature. Then drain that oil and put good oil in it. All right. Intake is on. Gonna throw on the strut tower bar. Yeah, you hear this thing? The blah, 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 blah. Crank it first with the fuel injector harness unplugged just to get oil pressure up to the head. I'm only filling it with water right now just because the coolant that was in there was kind of gross and I'm gonna let it like heat cycle once and then drain all the coolant out and then put actual coolant in it. There's always a clamp. There's always a clamp you forget. change is done there's no leaks cars ready to go if you like this video like comment subscribe every little bit helps stay tuned i'm gonna do some virtual dyno pulls on this car 
show you all how that works, and then we're gonna go back to the dyno jet where we made 373 and see if we can make my goal of 400. All right, guys. We're gonna try to do a virtual dyno pull here. So when you're doing virtual dyno pulls, you wanna find the flattest stretch of road possible. And that way it gives you accurate results. And what we do is we log it on the ECU over there. And right after the pull is over, you wanna stop it. You don't want a real long log when you're doing virtual dyno pulls. See if we can get an open stretch of road. We're gonna do it in fifth gear. All right, here we go. get off the highway here and then we'll export that file and have a look at it first what we have to do is log it and uh, when I get back to the house we'll put this on my other computer where I have all my virtual dyno logs and everything pull over right over here save that file have a look at it real quick we'll call it uh head since we just put this built head on we'll hit okay So you're probably wondering why the engine was running rough there at the end. And unfortunately, that's a cracked cylinder head. Do you remember the number nine stud when I was torquing it and it kind of slipped? That was actually the head cracking. And it took all those extra turns to make the torque because the head had a crack and it was not compressing. And what happened was the head gasket is probably blown in that area now. And it took about 30 miles to show up. So it wasn't right away. In retrospect, I would not torque down head studs on a Miata head at 90 foot-pounds. I would stick to ARP suggestion of 65. I think 90 is just too much. Um, so obviously we're going to be swapping the cylinder head again, unfortunately. We're going to take the cylinder head that was previously on my car. We're going to swap everything from the built head that we just put on the car back onto this other cylinder head. So if you want to see more head swap, the next time we do it, we'll cover it again. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of that. Uh, and if you've enjoyed this video and you've made it this far, throw us a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It would mean a lot. We've been getting a lot of subs lately and we really, really appreciate it. And last but not least, don't forget to eat more hot Totino's pizza rolls. Everybody's talking about it. Tortinos, tortinos, See you in the next one. Hot pizza Peace. Rolls. Tortinos, tortinos, everybody's talking about Tortinos.